On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Royal Copenhagen, open every day for breakfast, lunch, and dessert. Over 270 local loan centres servicing Australia since 1979. Aussies are less spooked by COVID. Good morning, I'm Celeste Mitzu. More on that in a moment. But first, 330,000 migrant workers could help ease the workforce shortage. The federal government is considering speeding up the visa process, allowing them to retrain for new jobs. It will be a hot topic at this week's Jobs and Skills Summit. Nationals leader David Littleproud still isn't happy, though. They were only invited after the Libs declined. We're the ones that helped put the food on your plate and we weren't even given a voice uh, and that's the disappointing thing but we're going to take that opportunity as a platform and be pragmatic about the opportunities that are there whether that be an ag visa, regional skills visa. On nine there, while the PM notches up 100 days in office tomorrow, Queensland has launched a multi-million dollar tourism campaign. The new ads will encourage holiday makers to seize the day. A COVID-free summer, that is the outlook from more than three quarters of Aussies who expect COVID cases to stay stable. Our current seven-day trend for new cases sits at 12,000 compared to 47,000 a month ago. Only 7% surveyed expect that the numbers to increase in the coming months. Popular Aussie entertainer Hans has been badly injured while performing on a cruise ship off Turkey. Matt Gilbertson plunged four metres off the stage. He's been taken to London for minor spinal damage and a broken foot. And Princess Diana's 1985 Ford Escort has been sold at auction for a staggering 1.1 million Aussie dollars. What would you do with a dollar? Did you know that for every one dollar donated to Food Bank, two meals are created? Head to foodbank.org.au. A big day in cricket. The Aussies are hosting Zimbabwe in Townsville for the first time in two years. Steve Smith will play in the ODI. Skipper Aaron Finch has put aside his shoulder niggles, saying this match is prep for the T20 World Cup. To be able to have the power of Stoinis, Marsh, Maxwell and Green at 5, 6, 7 and 8 is, is really important. The four AFLW expansion sides have made their debut. The Bombers claiming the first win of an old rivalry against the Hawks by 26 points. The Saints down the Swans by 29 points. And it was first floated and now confirmed players will cruise down the Yarra River to the MCG for the grand one parade. Sell your home with Miller One and John for a $2,000 fuel gun. Checking the Limestone Coast forecast to round out your weekend. Sunny and 20 the top today. Showers on the way for Monday, however, 15 the high and a shower or two expected for Tuesday, 14. Our listener app is the new home of radio, podcasts, music and news. Join up to listen live or on demand now. <laughs> 